We will now experience the acceleration provided by SAP HANA. For this demonstration, we will run classical COPA drill down reports via transaction KE30. One report will be run using the traditional database, the other one using SAP HANA as the accelerator. Please notice we are running these reports in the traditional SAP graphic user interface, so reports will be very familiar to current COPA users. We have two sessions open in the same system. We are now opening the definition of a COPA drill down report on the left screen. Now we are opening another report definition on the right screen. You can see that the reports are identically defined. Both are selecting the same characteristics, such as fiscal year, period, sales district, product, customer, and document number. The left report has been named with accelerator the right report without accelerator. In the configuration of the COPA accelerator, the left report has been set to be accelerated. We can see that the key figures are identical between both reports as well as the selection criteria. Both reports are selecting a full year of data corresponding to dozens of millions of records. In the left report, please notice the Options tab. It's important to use the option Read Upon Each Navigation Step to take full advantage of HANA's aggregation performance. This option means that the reporting interface will query HANA on each change of the report's drill down. Let us now execute both reports. We start with a report on the right. We are executing this report as a classic drill down report. For this report, it will now take more than 15 minutes to select the necessary data from the traditional database. Let us now run the left report, accelerated by SAP HANA. We are executing this report with identical criteria. Please pay attention to the left bottom area where we will see a short message, Read Data from SAP HANA. That's it! The report comes back in less than 5 seconds using SAP HANA to aggregate the numbers of a total year based on dozens of millions of line items. Please notice the second, traditional report in the background still selecting data. The amazing performance of the accelerated report to the left applies to subsequent navigation steps in the report as well. Let us now focus on the data of October and analyze this month by sales district. Again, the HANA database has been queried to calculate all numbers in the report. Now we are drilling down to the sales district, Eastern Germany, to analyze our numbers by product sold. The light bulb seemed to be the top selling products, so we better understand who our customers are for this product. Again, HANA brings back the answer no time, showing which customer or distributor is generating our sales volume. Now we will take advantage of being in the normal ERP context to go from the analytical information to the lowest level of transactional details. When going to line item details, the system warns you about possible long runtimes. The end user does not have to be afraid of this warning any longer with the HANA accelerator. Here's the list of line items with the usual possibilities to jump into the document display and document flow. Let's go back to the report and remove our data filters. First, we are removing the filter on product. Now we see all customers for a certain sales district in the month of October. Next, we look at all sales districts. Again, almost no time delay in this navigation step. Finally, we remove the filter on a single month, looking at numbers of all our customers across the entire year. 
Please notice the second traditional report in the background still selecting data. While the user with the HANA accelerator has already drilled down to the lowest level of detail, the report on the traditional database has not even returned a single number.